Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to uh, a new moon, Magic Aries uh, new moon in uh, April, April 1st. 2022. Uh, we're going to be doing Seeds of Fire magic, and we got a lot to unpack before we do that. So uh, thank you for uh, for watching. Welcome aboard. Uh, I am your host, I guess, professional witch, uh, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions. Uh, uh, since 1998, author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch, available on Kindle. Link in the description box, my legacy. A book, and of course, creator on Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle and the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, but you could call me Mal, yay! Oh, goodness, goodness gracious, I got a checklist, we got a lot to unpack here, because this is a very, I think, powerful uh, new moon, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, but we're going to start with a little prayer, get, get a little prayer meditation thingy, a little spiritual practice to get grounded and centered. I'm going to surrender it to the divine, let them do it through me. And uh, I think you're going to like what I got. It might be a little long, but I'm going to do uh, as I am guided to do. So take a moment, get centered, right? Check in, Aries, first house, self-ego personality, self-healing, self-love, all that. On a Friday, no less, a day of Venus. So take a moment, right? And I want to stress, I want to stress, I want to underline here and now that all the magic I do in any of these uh, uh, magical things, uh, new moon, full moon, Sabbaths, there are pieces that I put together inspired by the divine that can be used at any time. Yes, there may be some astrological pointers here and there, certain things that are better done at better times, but I think you'll see we've got a conglomeration of different things that we've done already since uh, Yule. So, yeah, let's just be open and receptive and use our creative fire. Got the Ace of Wands here from the Alchemical Tarot staring at me. Can't get more of an Ace of Ace of Wands than a Seed of Fire spell. So uh, let's do this. Take a moment. Close your eyes if you will, if you like, whatever. But just tune in. Right? Turn your attention inward. Start with the body. Right? Just scan yourself from head to toe. Take a moment. Take a minute. And really find those places in the body that need to be given a little extra permission to relax. A little more, a little more attention, a little more love, a little more permission to let go, right? Simple act of self-love and self-care. Uh, the jaw is always a big one because I'm very throat chakra dominant in this life as a teacher and a speaker and a reader. You know, any place that is chronic for you, my lower back is doing fine today, but give that a little extra, extra, so that we can really focus on ourselves in a healthy way, in an in a inspired way, a creative way. Now just breathe. You don't have to fire breath, you don't have to do anything special unless you want to, because it's your breath. And there is only one breath. I know it sounds a little icky at first. <laughs> We're gonna keep this light. But just to breathe. <sighs> to choose to breathe. Element of fire. Choices, decisions, willpower, very third chakra. <sighs> so that you come into your own personal here and now. With each breath filling and fueling that fire at our core. We were talking about the solar plexus, the fire in our belly, the self-fire of the divine, the Satchit Ananda, the spark of the divine hologram within the core of all of life. Just breathe into that and let it expand. And it's from this place I offer this prayer as I call upon our collective pantheons of guides, masters, teachers, gods, goddesses, saints, angels, totems, healers, ancestors, and higher selves all the way back to the divine singularity of the mother of all to surround this time in this space, this work that we do together in this moment in a force field of light containing and protecting all that we do 
that all information and energy, fire, earth, air, water, spirit, all overtones of all dimensions do so clearly, cleanly for the well-being of all and in fulfillment of a plan greater than anything we can even conceive of. And on a personal note, <laughs> use me. Make me the channel of guidance, grace, love, wisdom, and power you sent me in to be in this life. And every time I do this, I get a little bit better. So let this be the best thing I have ever done, but certainly not the best thing I will ever do because we are all on a learning curve. We are all on our way home, step by step, breath by breath. And may we all be so blessed with the guidance, grace, love, wisdom, and power that is our inheritance to be claimed for the well-being of all. So might be. And so it is. Take a second. <laughs> Take a breath. Take a moment. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, if you close your eyes and all of that. And um, let's uh, get down to it. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do, sir. There are no surprises. We just did uh, the astrology prayer, or the, the astrology prayer, the opening prayer, meditation. We're going to talk about the astrology in a minute. Uh, we're going to go through the mantras for the new moon to full moon reads, the five card draws I just did, but irrelevant if you haven't seen them unless you want to go see them. There is a playlist. <laughs> They're the last 12 videos. I, I pretty much did it more or less. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit the tools that we're going to be using because the seeds of fire are actually from the crystal seeds that I uh, created on the full moon in Virgo. So if you want to check that out. Uh, that too, but we'll talk about that. Uh, then I'm going to devote the altar, fire it up. I already did my personal magic like an hour ago, so I'm really ready for this. So I'm not going to make this as much about me as I'm going to make this about you. Uh, but we will still devote the altar, fire it up. Uh, uh, then we're going to empower the seeds of fire. And I got a lovely little spell for that. Here it goes. This spell needs to be unpacked. Uh, I now enchant this crystal seed with what I want and what I need with blank. Try and make it three syllables. I now enchant uh, this seed of fire I now plant. And you're planting it within your subconscious. They are stones that I'm working with, so I could put these in plants. I could put, bury them, wear them, turn them into jewelry. Any sort of thing as a touchstone, as a carrier for the magic that we're already blessed uh, uh, at the full moon in Virgo. Uh, by the way, the water that I'm using for holy water is <laughs> the holy water that we made here on Cancer Full Moon back in, uh, it was that January, December? Oh, tiny, wimey, wibbly, wobbly. Well, if the, if the sun was in, in Capricorn, then the full moon was in Cancer. That's how it goes. Um, and that is also, I know you can't see it, but here I'll pop up the picture. There is my altar space, pretty much what's sitting in front of me right now. I took some of my personal effects away, and I'm wearing some of them. Uh, but you can see in the center of the pentacle, there is um, a, a, an aromatherapy thing, right? It's got a tea light uh, with a, a glass dish in it with the holy water itself in it, as well as we're going to add some more to that. So... Uh, that water itself is also from the Cancer Moon Holy Water. So I'm beginning to see, like I said, that all the magic that I do for the public in this way, you can beg, borrow, and steal from all of them, right? Just because it has an astrological significance doesn't mean that it's the only time that you can use it. So uh, it looks like we're building like each time, creating new tools, uh, new magical carriers. Kind of cool. So uh, uh, so we're going to empower these seeds, and then we're going to do a little Abraham Hicks uh, thing. Wouldn't it be nice if fill in the blank? It's a great way to keep the energy going in tandem with the mantras that we get from the MacCon Healing Mantra deck. This is going to set you up for a while, and you can enchant these seeds with these mantras as you choose. We'll get there when we get there. Uh, and then we're going to ground ourselves and we're going to do a closing prayer and we're out. Let's, I don't want to rush through it, but I had no idea what I was doing 48 hours ago. This all came in pieces. I did it for myself. I feel great. So I'm ready to share. So the astrology. Uh, I love I love clipboards with bullet points. Uh, Virgo that I am. The astrology. We are in this, the, the new moon in Aries. So that is sun conjunct moon. Every new moon is a sun conjunct moon within five degrees on the zodiacal wheel. 
uh, and it is on a Friday at the time of this recording, April 1st, the day of Venus, vendredi, uh, a day of love, right? Absolutely a day of love and relationships, but your relationship to yourself. So any kind of magic you ever want to do on any Aries moon ever, it's magic for yourself. Get it in a new moon, it's double whammy, right? You're, you're really uh, starting something, and that's why I think the Ace of Wands is a magical focus is not a bad idea. In fact, I think it's a really good idea. Um, in this deck, I only use for magical acts. I don't read with this deck. Uh, the Alchemical Tarot, I forget the guy's name. Uh, 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 but then we're looking at the two-week period, right? It is a waxing moon. We're literally, pl literally, we're magically, and sort of little, literally, planting seeds of fire. Aries, choices, will, we yearn for what you burn for, your heart's desire. Uh, but then it's, it's to grow to the full moon in Libra. Uh, which is seventh house, which is partnership and romance, and maybe another person coming into the picture. Could be business partnering, could be, but that it be done fairly. So the, the cleaner your intent is uh, with these seeds, the clearer uh, the manifestation, one would think it would be. Although there's a plan larger than what we uh, can think, and that's why the healing mantras and all of that will help. Uh, uh, so let's talk about them mantras. I've got them. Uh, in order, Aries through Pisces, only one of them uh, is, a, is a double, so that's why I've got it uh, turned on its side there, and I'm pretty sure that's for Libra, because uh, that was one of my four. Uh, I'll pop up the picture again, you'll see where these cards are placed in the four magical elements. I chose four seeds uh, from the ones that I have here uh, to empower them with. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, not necessarily in that order. So just real quick, if you want to write these down, uh, you do you. Uh, for Aries, celebrating simplicity. I am more fulfilled when there is less to manage and maintain. Okay. For Taurus, exploring unity consciousness, I am one eternal light appearing as all. I'm going to keep that here because that's, I believe, for Libra as well. For Gemini, demystifying the darkness, uh, my shadow shows me where my love needs to be sent. Uh, after that would come, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I doing this right? One, two, three, f uh, four. Uh, for Cancer, then, is illuminating the truth. I am willing to see things clearly, no matter the outcome. Uh, for Leo, yeah, this was my element of fire, for sure, I'm Leo rising. Uh, uh, releasing ex expectations, I love this one. Only the highest possibilities come to be, whether I envision them or not. <laughs> it's such a lifesaver for me. Uh, for Virgo, uh, Virgo that I am embracing worthiness, I feel worthiness filling every cell of my body, and it feels amazing. And it does, but plant a seed. Watch that grow uh, over two weeks. Uh, for Libra, right, was exploring unity consciousness. I am one eternal light, appearing as all, which definitely will light you up. Hey, buddy, and it looks like I got a kitty visiting. No, it was just a drive-by head bonky uh, on my ankle. Uh, for Scorpio, right, yeah, Scorpio, untangling neglect. I, neglect. I take the time to give myself all the approval I desire. Uh, for Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, just checking. Uh, for Sagittarius, expressing free will, my choices determine how brightly I shine, very third chakra. For Capricorn, growing beyond guilt, it couldn't have happened any other way. Very powerful if you work it. Uh, for Aquarius, creating cooperation, more gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play. And for Pisces, and I'm a Pisces moon, uh, sharing shame. When I share my deepest pain, I give myself permission to be. And that was so intense. That was my element of water, right? Uh, so, so I had Libra here. In air, I had Leo in fire, uh, Pisces in water, and uh, Virgo here in earth. And for my intentions that I did this with, it all clicked. It just all worked perfectly, exactly better than I could have come up with without the guidance. So keep in mind, we are going to be enchanting 
uh, these uh, crystals. I'm going to do mine silently again, just to give them a little extra oomph. So I'm doing it with you. Um, but you can do this with one crystal. And if you d and if you don't have the ones from the Virgo full moon, just grab as many rocks as you want to do this with. Uh, but I want to break apart that spell one more time before you before we go into this. Uh, I now enchant this crystal seed with what I want and what I need with blah blah blah. I'll explain why blah blah blah. Like and uh, with perfect grace, whatever. I now enchant uh, this seed of fire. I now do plant. Right. I now plant this seed of fire. I now plant. And there are eight syllables each line, which is perfect for manifestation. Just saying, I am a Virgo. Look, I did math. I made myself do math. Uh, but that's the word Smith and me. Just tinker it into place. So uh, with that, uh, with perfect love, uh, I enchant those three syllables, but you do. you. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to check your homework. <laughs> Please don't send it to me. I don't want to red pen anything ever again. So uh, let's uh, do this then, right? We talked about the mantras. We talked about the tools. Oh, and I manifested a, a, a helper, my Melchior. He loves jumping up on the black one because he gets to be just two floating black eyes, uh, green eyes, I should say my baby, my Taurus. Um, but I do have, just to say, uh, uh, a thing, uh, an abalone uh, shell of uh, dragon's blood soaked sage, which is great. And if I need more, I have some more there I can grab uh, with a little resin powder uh, thing that I made up for myself in the house. Uh, a lit uh, tea light candle, but anointed with you don't see where I put it. Oh, there it is. Excuse me for one second. Excuse me, Melky. Oh, I wasn't as prepared as I thought. Uh, basil oil, which is element of fire uh, and the planet Mars. So I thought that was appropriate and it is my favorite magical oil to work with. For me, it connects with love because I love basil. Scunning, uh, Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs is, is my symbolic Bible that way, but you do you. Um, uh, like the water I said that we've got here in the thing with the basil oil anointed on all the candles on the table. Uh, we're going to put a couple of drops of that in there as well with the Cancerian holy water. And of course, uh, rather than salt, which neutralizes a crystal, we don't want to do that this time. Uh, I am using these clear quartz points that I found when I was visiting my family walking along the road in front of their house. Apparently they live on a crystal mountain. I'm so not shocked by that. It's a good sign that that might be where I'm moving eventually in the next year or two. We'll see. But for right now, uh, I think uh, we're ready to do this. I'm just going to do basic cleansing and consecrating of the elements and an altar devotion. And then let's do this. Getting these matcha cards out of my face for right now. <laughs> take a moment. Take a breath. Take a focus. And tune in. Here we go. Here we go. Give me the words. Use me. Use me, pantheons of the divine. Let's do some magic to heal ourselves and heal this world because we are one we are one eternal light appearing as all inflammate oh creature of air i do cleanse and consecrate thee in the names of the mighty ones of the east removing all negativity from you in this world and in all worlds blessings be upon you now I'm going to be. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Creature of fire, I do cleanse and consecrate thee in the names of the mighty ones of the south, casting out all negativity from you in this world and in all worlds. Blessings be upon you now. So would it be. Mm, oh, creature of water, I do cleanse and consecrate thee in the names of the mighty ones of the West, removing all negativity from you in this world and in all worlds. 
blessings be upon you now. So would it be. So it is. Oh, creature of earth, I do cleanse and consecrate thee in the names of the mighty ones of the north, casting out all negativity from you in this world and in all worlds. Blessings be upon you now. So would it be. Water and earth, air and fire, combine to transform and inspire, align us with divine desire, our highest art we now require, elements guide so that we may be on our paths and on them stay. We ask thee now, show us the way of what our hearts desire this day. Oh, Lady High. O oh, consort bright, illumine our work now with your light for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So would it be? And so it is. <laughs> tingle, 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 tingle. All right, check. <laughs> Alter devotion done. Let's empower these seeds of fire. Now, like I said, I, I took four. I took air, fire, water, earth. Not saying what they are. Those are personal. You gotta let the seed germinate. You gotta let it do its thing. You don't tell people what you cast for for at least 24 to 48 hours or maybe not ever. That's just how I roll. That's what works for me. Um, but uh, certainly as an example uh, and uh, <laughs> so uh, I now enchant this crystal seed with what I want and what I need with perfect grace is what I'm gonna say. Perfect grace. Three syllables. I now enchant this seed of uh, fire I now plant and get why it's called seed of fire, right? It's not quest for fire. It's not chariots of fire. It's seeds of fire. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. It's fire. It's intent. It's your will. It's your desire. It's what you are asking the divine to say, I really want this. And yes, it is selfish, but let it be higher selfish. Let it serve. Let it be infused with grace for the well-being of all. You get it. Cool. All right, so uh, I'm going to use the ones that I have here. So I'm going to do it four times. So this way, if you want to do it along with me, you're more than welcome to. Certainly, you can play this back at any time and do this at any time, not just at a, a, a new moon in Aries once a year. Here we go. Just tuning in to what this is for. My element of fear. <sighs> I now enchant this crystal seed with what I want and what I need. With perfect grace, I now enchant this seed of fire that I now plant for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As I will it, so let it be done. So let it be. Here for fire tuning still point. I now enchant this crystal seed with what I want and what I need with perfect grace. I now enchant the seed of fire I now plant for the well-being of all oh, I want harm to none as I will it 
So let it be done. So let it be. So it is. Put it out by the fire. Element of water. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Tune. Still point. I now enchant this crystal seed with what I want and what I need. With perfect grace, I now enchant this seed of fire. I now plant for the well-being of all. <sighs> harm to none, as I will it, so let it be done, so let it be, and so it is, I'm going to put you over here, next to the water, and for my element of earth, last time around, I now enchant this crystal seed with what I want and what I need. With perfect grace, I now enchant the seed of fire I now plant for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As I will it, so let it be done. So let it be. So it is. <laughs> I just came, they just gave me that spell this morning. <laughs> they just gave me that this morning. Yay. Okay, so now it's all cooking, right? Now we're going to juice it up a little bit. Now this is from Abraham Hicks. Uh, ask and it is given, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, remember which exercise it is, but it's higher up in the numbers in terms of getting yourself into a higher place on the emotional guidance scale. Uh, it is a law of attraction technique that I use every now and again. I just forget to use it. And it's, wouldn't it be nice if, I know, it's very Beach Boys, wouldn't it be nice, right? But you can do this silently, anywhere, anytime, with a stone, without a stone, <laughs> magical, just sitting in traffic, but not a way as to knowing what you're actually feeling, but just a, just a bright, little by little by little by little. Uh, and only you can do this, which is very um, Aries New Moon. So, wouldn't it be nice if, blank, right? Wouldn't it be nice if, now you can do that thing I often do here uh, on a scale of one to 10, one being, <laughs> 10 being, ah, where are you on the emotional scale? Look, I'm doing what I love. I'm doing what I came here to do right now. So I'm feeling pretty much at an eight, right? So wherever you are, just take note of it, right? It's not a judgment. It's a temperature reading. These things change. All things do. So uh, this is what we'll do. All right. So I'll say one of my own personal wouldn't be nice if so I'm going to keep it general, but then we might get specific. That's the idea. Start general. Yes, general, specific. <laughs> then you want to like make it more specific as you go. And uh, just add in the breath as you will, and we're gonna we're gonna do this, and then we're closing this puppy up for the night, uh, the day. Here we go. <sighs> Take a moment. Tune. Where are you? How do you feel? Wouldn't it be nice if all the seeds of fire that I plant today manifest fully in the best way possible? by the full moon. I've had it. Try one. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nice if this waxing moon I became happier, healthier, wealthier, and wiser for my well-being and for the well-being of all? Mm. Mm. Wouldn't it be nice if I enjoyed this next New to full moon cycle. Wouldn't it be nice if I laughed more? Wouldn't it be nice if the world got better? Wouldn't it be nice if my own guidance and grace helped heal the world and everyone in it? Maybe not so much the planet. She's going to do what she's going to do. 
But wouldn't it be nice if all that I did was a blessing upon this world and I didn't even know it? Wouldn't it be nice if I could know that more often? Wouldn't it be nice if everything that I really want is everything I really need and because it's one and the same, it's going to come no matter what I do? Wouldn't it be nice if my highest destiny was achieved in this life? Whatever that may be. And wouldn't it be nice if there was more peace on earth? And wouldn't it be nice if it began with me? Wouldn't it be nice if there was more true love on earth? And wouldn't it be nice if it began with me? Mm. Wouldn't it be nice if there was more justice and balance and harmony and honor and integrity on planet Earth heading for that full moon in Libra? And wouldn't it be nice if it began with me? And wouldn't it be nice if every breath I take, known or unknown, blessed every heart with the love that it needs to heal? Hmm. And wouldn't it be nice if every blink of my eyes, done consciously or unconsciously, blessed every third eye with the truth it needs to heal? Hmm. And wouldn't it be nice with every action I take that every body, every form, man, woman, child, animal, vegetable, and mineral be blessed? with all the guidance, grace, love, power, and wisdom that it needs to heal, to grow, to learn, to evolve, to become the best that it can be, and make Earth a paradise planet for the well-being of all, which means me too, and with harm to none, as I am willing it. So let it be done. So what it be? So it is. <laughs> you might as well land on that, huh? Do 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 Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. Ground yourself. Go plant your seeds, my friends of the internet. Oh my God! I'm gonna be buzzed the rest of the day. I think the work career vocation read for Scorpio is gonna wait for tomorrow. I'm a little too high to go down into Scorpio right at the moment, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of what Matt calls, Matt Kahn calls the love revolution, what I call, you know, the path of true love. Uh, I don't call it heaven on earth anymore. I call it making earth a paradise, planet, fifth dimension and above, anchored here and now forever more to the best of our ability. And you get to be higher selfish in them. So have at it. And remember, if you want to come play, come play Patreon on Patreon, Patreon.com. <laughs> Slash drawing the circle and for my humans, heroes, witches, immortals, gods, and goddesses. There are soon to be angels coming this month. New tier on the way. Thank you so much for your patronage. It's March 1st. It's the day I get paid by you all. So very grateful. Great, very, very thankful. And certainly if you want to book me for a private read. I'm doing tarot parties now again. Doing one around the corner. That's going to be fun. Uh, uh, just booking a reading with Mal. It's a video in the description box here on YouTube. I love you. Put your hand on your heart as often as you can. Grab one of them rocks and just say, I love you, no matter what. Whatever arises, love that. And be the god goddess you're destined to be in this life. Let your light shine at full capacity. It is, after all, Aries, a uh, new moon. I love you. Hail, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.